Are you a bit like me, rushing around trying to get a million things done before your head drops off? I mean, are you picking things up and then taking them somewhere and then, oh, forgotten to do this and you've got to do that, the diary filling up, there's another WhatsApp message that's got to be answered and there's somebody on Telegram trying to introduce themselves to you. There's a copious amounts of YouTube videos to watch or those on Rumble and many of the other video platforms. And then of course, there's the emails that keep popping in and then getting to work and trying to do something at work and having a coherent conversation with your wife or your husband and, and then your children want your attention. Are you constantly busy and, and just do not get much time to, to sit down and relax and, and just think? Is that the case with you? It certainly feels like that with me at the moment and yet behind all of this, whilst we're being like ants dashing about, there is of course the slow bigger picture and we're somewhat aware of the things that are happening. We're aware that there is the, 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 the corporations seem to be getting ever bigger and more powerful and more demanding. The letters of we're going to do this if you don't pay up and we're going to do this. The lack of humanity that seems to be present in the government and in the councils that nobody seems to be able to listen to you on a personal level. They're just sort of looking as if everybody's become non-playing characters or they're just neutral in their face. They're almost robotic, aren't they? When you, in, when you talk to people who work for corporations, they've been so trained as to have no human emotion whatsoever and go, oh yes, I know. Oh yes, I sympathise. Yes, that's right. But please cough up the money now. We send the boys round with the sticks and you'd rather we didn't do that. And all this sort of weird high pressure threatening so that you rather faster and faster continually on that hamster wheel trying to get away from everything. And, and in a way, we, we, we kind of know that there are these things going on, the bigger, the darker forces, the, the perpetrators of the great harm that is going on. We almost have forgotten about those stories about the aliens that were coming and, the, and the, all the other different things, the diseases that were supposed to be coming and the synthetic food that we're having and the bugs that we're supposed to be eating and of course the big poles with the radiation going on, although that is still happening and those poles are still arriving left, right and centre. And we're sitting in this this big soup of radiation from our phones and from the modems and all of that. But we're so busy now. We're so busy trying to just pay the bills. Oh, another energy bill and another this and another that and adverts trying desperately to sell more tat that we don't need, that we just are not having that chance to sit down, as I say, and think and take it easy and, and view the bigger picture and actually decide how we are individually on our own and with our friends going to react to these things. And instead, we're, we're, we're just all high pressure. Oh, golly, I've got a headache. Better take a pill. Got to go and do this. Got to go and do that. And we need to stop. We need to slow down. We need to have those moments of quiet reflection. I feel that we're in a bit of a phony war at the moment. We know that since that thing that happened in 2020, when everything went bit ballistic and weird and strange and unusual, we were locked up in our doors and there were people going up and down the street, metaphorically saying, bring out your dead, and you, but you weren't allowed to because you couldn't go to the funerals and you couldn't go to the weddings and you couldn't see a loved one or any of those things. You couldn't hug anyone and they kept you all away. And yet, we know that something in the background is happening. We hear all these stories and of course the internet is bombarding us with stuff. Oh, this is about to happen and this is about to happen. The money is about to crash. The, the aliens are about to come in. The radiation is about to hit. All this stuff to keep us absolutely either in fear or to be so busy we cannot actually control our own emotions and our own power. And so I want to address today the fact that we are incredibly powerful individual people. We are this amazing spirit in this flesh and blood body. We are, we are um, so powerful and this is why the dark forces want to take away that power, keep us distracted so we don't know, so that we don't sit, that we don't don't meditate, we don't understand who we really are, that we feel that with this very much this sort of 3D character that has to dash about and do this and do the other. And so 
All of that is to keep our vibrations low and down and keep us strained and keep us tired and keep us busy when really we need to get those vibrations up. We need to be a lot, a lot higher in the vibration, happier, jollier, in control of our thoughts, having wonderful conversations with our friends and our neighbours, laughing, singing. I've, I've mentioned all these things before, but it's very easy to, with all this technology and the way that we're being communicated to and the pressures of work is to forget that actually our job, if you can call it a job, on this planet, if you want to think of it as a planet, is to thrive, to be happy, to have the joyous and most productive and most fun life that we could possibly have. And you know, the things that are fun and joyous tend not to be those things that have been imported from China or manufactured in these big corporations or sold on these glossy adverts that you see on various video platforms or on the telly at cut price uh, costs or indeed in the supermarkets in big glowing boxes and colourful this and full of fortified the other. No, the things that really matter to us the things that they cannot actually tax or take away from us, although they are desperately trying, are free. The fresh air, well, OK, it may not be as fresh as we would like because they're polluting the atmosphere and we have, of course, industry churning out all these trinkets that we feel we need. Uh, water, well, of course, yes, that's true. They are putting fluoride and a whole bunch of other bits and bobs into the water. They're not extracting all the poisons and all those pharmaceuticals that we're all consuming left, right and centre. And then is coming out in our urine into the water and is is probably still there. OK, so those things are not free. Sunshine. Well, it's hard to see it these days because they keep controlling. All right. So they are controlling a lot of what we st what what is there to. to move us away from those things that we really want. But we can still get out into nature. We can still have wonderful conversations. We can still sit quietly, turning off all the devices, the Wi-Fi, uh, all the screens, turn even the electricity off, light a couple of candles and just be at peace and think and take time out from that busy life. Because this is what's keeping us, our vibrations down. We control our own thoughts. We mustn't let them suck us in with their screens so that we become hypnotized. We control our own thoughts. And if we want to be happy and enjoy life, we must take back that control. Be responsible. Don't let others influence how you think that we can control our own thoughts and say, do you know, I'm going to be happy today. I don't care what happens. I am happy. I'm raising my vibration. I'm raising the ability to be as a spiritual being, the ability to change the environment. And collectively, the more people that do this, the more people that raise up their vibrations and tell these entities that are trying to prevent and take away all these things, you no longer exist. You're not part of my world. I push you off. I've turned off the television. I don't read the newspapers. I don't hear the news. I don't see the adverts. I am in my own space. I don't care about the things in the world that I personally can have no contribution other than to worry about. And I'm not worrying about it anymore. From now on, I'm going to live my life in a happy, thriving, joyous mode, because that is what we must do. And that is what they don't want us to do. And all this t terror and horror on different parts of the world, the waiting for something to happen, the, the advent of this 5G and all these other things. Let's take the thing that we can do is to control our minds. And so we need to take back the control of our thoughts, our minds, our attitudes and our emotions. And don't let this pressure affect us in the negative. In other words, what I'm trying to get to is we've got to remain as positive and as, as, as high in our vibrations as possible because this is another way that we can trump what these other people are doing because they want us down. We can do that. We have the ability, but we do need to switch off and move away from all the, the nonsense, all the lies, all the crap that they're throwing at us, whether that be on paper, on screens, 
or in just the general vibration and, and radiation. Control our minds so that we remain in power.